When the north wind blows, the snowbirds start to fly south. Some stay all winter long and some just go for a trip, like Mr. Style and I just did. So if you're wondering what to bring on a warm weather destination vacation, well, I have the video for you today that you won't want to miss. Well, even though it's Vlogmas, I thought that I'd throw in some regular content too, because I said I was going to be a little bit more consistent about that. And uh, Mr. Style and I were, were recently on a Caribbean cruise, so this is really the perfect time of year to share this, because so many of us are either going before Christmas or right after Christmas. February is always a cold month. We love to go on those vacations where there are beaches and there's sun and it's you know just all about warm destinations. So, so I'm going to share what I took along on, on our cruise and we'll go through uh, one by one, but you might want to be or, you know, wondering or you're thinking, what do I wear on the plane when I'm going from a very cold climate to a very warm climate? And this is actually what I wore. And it was kind of chilly when we, when we left. It was like in the 40s. So I am a big fan of Athleta athleisure wear. I like them better than Lululemon. I don't know why. I just think they have great things. And I found this really cute dress in a beautiful weight. And uh, so it just has a little half zip here, a little sporty stripe on the side. And I put a puffer jacket over the top and then that kept me warm in the terminal and on the airplane. And I wasn't like, and then I just peeled the, the uh, puffer off when I actually got to where we, where we went or our destination. So that's just one item. If you are like, if you're in Minnesota and there's snow on the ground, um, you probably want to wear something a little bit more substantial than tennis shoes but I actually wore tennis shoes. These were like my heaviest uh, shoes and I always like to wear my heaviest shoes so I don't have to take up you know, poundage in, in the suitcase. But you might want to rethink that, maybe put some boots on, maybe put some tights on. But think about a dress. Um, they're really very comfortable to travel in. So now I'm just gonna go through um, item by item on, on what I packed for our, we were uh, away for seven days on a Caribbean cruise. And this is where you, you don't necessarily have to be strategic because cruises, I think the great thing about a cruise is that you pack a suitcase, you take it into your stateroom, you unpack and you're done for the entire trip. You don't have to worry about your suitcase anymore. And I actually saw people that had two very large suitcases, you know, that they had to unpack. I actually, so I packed one fairly large one. I think it was um, 50 pounds. Mr. Style packed, packed his own. But I'm gonna go through those items that, uh, that, that came with me. And I always like to think about you know, versatility and what's going to be on the cruise ship. And it can be you know, just like a restaurant. It can be really, really cold and then you go outside and it can be really, really hot. So I like to have those transitional items that will you know, carry me through. So I uh, brought along this really fun jacket from, this is Ralph Lauren. This is a rendition of his military jacket and he has patches on it, a little bouillon uh, patch here, it zips. So you can, you know, zip it up. If you want to stay warm, you can unzip it. And then I brought along, these actually happen to match uh, the, the military jacket, but I'm a big fan of green cargo pants. They really act as a neutral. And so I wore it as an ensemble like this. And then I actually wait one minute because I had a really cute tee, a green tee with little patches on, bouillon patches on it too. So this was one whole ensemble. And don't worry, I will have lots of photos at the very end, a little photo montage like I, um, like I usually do to show you how I wear everything. So this was one whole ensemble that I wore. And then if it got too hot, I, as I said, I peeled the jacket off. Uh, but there again, then this jacket, if you're chilly, you know, you can throw it on any of your other outfits that you have brought along with you. And so it's just nice to have uh, that option because I'm telling you that the cruise ship was really, really cold in a lot of places. So in keeping with the cargo pants and how versatile they are, I brought along two fun silk blouses, sleeveless, so that you could, you could match it up with that. So here's one that has the pinks. This one actually has some pinks in it too. It has a little ruffle on it. I really like this one. Uh, it was just very fun and flirty. So the cargo pants really just come along and as I said, act as a neutral and then you can mix and match to your heart's content. So cargo pants, one uh, military jacket, then I brought two sleeveless blouses. And then these 
also will be very versatile uh, down the road when I talk about some other things. Um, dresses. Oh, do I love to wear dresses when it's warm outside? And that was actually one of the things that I worked on since we've been here in Georgia is building up my dress ensemble. So this is just a denim dress. It's just a shift dress. This is a Ralph Lauren. Has pockets. Uh, just so easy breezy to wear. You just pop it on. And I think I wore this one day when we went touring on, um, I think it was St. Thomas. I wore this dress. So have to have a dress, at least one. I like to actually pack two. And this is a t-shirt dress, very, very lightweight. This is Everlane, I bought this last year. And then you can wear this with tennis shoes. You could wear this with sandals. And it takes up like almost zero space in your suitcase because it's so lightweight. So think about a t-shirt dress. Um, I also brought these very fun pants. I'm going to un unclip them for you. Uh, these are actually, I think, one of my favorite pants just about ever. They're just, I don't know. Ralph Lauren just does some really fun things sometimes. So these are big patches everywhere on these pants. But they're also, they're very lightweight because you want to think you're in a warm destination. You want to think very lightweight clothes. So I brought these along. And then there again, you can um, wear them with one of the sleeveless tops here um, but you want to have you know a couple of pairs of pants uh, to bring along with you on the cruise and I just happen to have these blue linen pants a sweatsuit I'm telling you now that I've uh, and I don't think I shared this with you but this is our very very first cruise ever I, I always thought that I was not the cruise person or that I wouldn't like a cruise and I completely changed my mind because I really it's such an easy way to travel. But there again, because, you know, you're getting up early, you're going, you know, you're schlepping down to the, you know, to the restaurant for uh, breakfast, maybe early, early, and it's still very chilly out. So I brought a sweatsuit with me. This is French Terry, so it's a really nice mid-weight. And there again, we have the little, little sporty stripes. This is Ralph Lauren. And then the sweatpants you can just throw on in the morning or, you know, just uh, put the, the um, sweatshirt on at night. Uh, when you're cold, um, but a really nice option. I showed you my sleeveless blouses that you can mix and match, right? And then I'm going to share a staple that always goes into my suitcase um, when I'm traveling. Um, so it just depends if I'm going warm weather or cold weather. So warm weather, I put shorts in. I put a pair of white shorts in for sure. Black if I have it, because these are just like staples. And then there again, you can mix and match with whatever you have. So shorts, since it was a warm weather destination. And then t-shirts, because you have to have a t-shirt. Super easy to wear. So then again, black is a staple. And then white, this one actually is a white one with, um, it's a ringer t-shirt, so it actually has some uh, stripes on it. So it you know, kind of punches up the look a little bit. So those are staples that you want to have. T-shirts. And also, I think a striped t-shirt is a staple as well. So this always finds its way into my suitcase. There again, if it's a colder destination, it will be a long sleeve. Warmer destination, we have the three-quarter sleeves here. So I have that. And you can see I've, I've just tried to you know, build everything out where you can mix and match and have uh, ensembles. And I'm telling you, I'm a becoming more of a fan of jumpsuits all the time. And for whatever reason, I seem to travel with them. Um, this, this little guy made the journey on our Caribbean cruise. And this was uh, from J. Crew, So it's linen, very lightweight. It is, it was long sleeved and then has a little tie here. But what a perfect outfit to wear because uh, it was just really that, that mid um, weight um, outfit. So when we were on the deck uh, and it was like really, really windy, it just really um, kept me a little bit warm. So, so think, you know, if you're not a fan of jumpsuits, because I know a lot of people complain about, you know, taking them off when, the, when they have to go to the bathroom, but they're really a great, um, a great option. Uh, a little bit dressier than your regular outfit and, and perfect for traveling. And then of course, every cruise, and I think every vacation, you need one really fun, flirty dress. And so I picked this, so it's a black, Georg or not black, it's a navy Georgette. And so it has the, the, um, the swing sleeve right here, or the cape right here, and, it's an, and it was off shoulder. 
And again, I'll, I'll have some pictures uh, to show you. And you can pair this with, I actually took a pair of pink suede pumps that were really fun. But think about um, metallics, because m metallics go with so many things that really are neutral. So if you're short on space in your suitcase, you know, think metallics. And these would have looked uh, absolutely perfect with that dress. So those are all my basics that I brought along, you know, to mix and match, you know, to cover me, you know, the sweatsuit to cover me, you know, for breakfast, and then the the shorts to cover me, uh, you know, on most days, you know, with a t-shirt. But you um, don't ever want to forget to bring a swimsuit, and you may want to bring two swimsuits when it's a warm destination, so then you'll always have one that's drying uh, on the rack and then one that's already dry. So I just brought a tankini with me, and uh, I believe I got this, I think this is La Bianca swimwear. So it's just a little, cute little tankini. So I got that. And of course you have to have a cover up, especially if you're on a cruise, because they are a little bit strict about that. And you have to be covered up um, in, uh, well, there goes that dress. You have to be covered up in certain areas. So I just had this really fun little animal print cover up that went over my swimming suit. And then you for sure want to have a hat. So this is a Panama hat. This is a straw hat. So it has a fairly wide brim because you do want to keep the sun off of your face because it's very intense, especially when you get south of the equator. Trust me, I lived south of the equator for many years. So a Panama hat, definitely a must. And sunglasses. And I just bought these these are actually my brand new glasses because I'm I'm missing two pairs of my glasses. I'm, I'm hoping that I will still find, but um, if I don't, I, I purchased a new pair. So th these are Cruz. Aren't they cute? These are pink. They call these pink Havanas. So you want to have sunglasses as well. And then before I go, I'm just going to show you really fast because you need some footwear, right? And I showed you my tennis shoes that I traveled with. I showed you my metallic sandals that act as a neutral. And then these actually act as a neutral too. So these are Tory Burch. So these are white sandals. So I brought in a pair of white sandals. So easy, you know, to throw in your suitcase, just like that. And then I had some brown, some brown sandals from Tory Burch. I think are really cute with the, um, the toe ring. Okay, so that's what I packed for our Caribbean cruise, seven days. We just had a ball. Really, as I said, I changed my mind on cruises altogether uh, because of it. And such an easy way to travel. Um, but there's, uh, these are all of my items and I'll have a little photo montage in just a minute. And I just wanted to say again, happy Vlogmas and thanks for tuning in. And if you like this video, of course, give me a thumbs up. I love to hear your comments down below. I'm trying to keep up with them. And uh, I'm going to see you again tomorrow. Bye-bye.